Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Okay, we had a couple of issues yesterday with our combines uh, crashing when they were down along this bottom side of the map. Now I've done some extensive testing, it seemed to work alright with that big combine running along here. And that was all well and good, but it was here that it also crashed, around that corner. So I tested that with six different combines, some standard vanilla game combines and also with uh, our own combines. It crashed every single time going around that corner with the AI vehicle extension. The only thing I didn't do was test it manually driving around that corner, um, but I don't really want to manually do the field anyway. Uh, so yeah, issues with that field there. Now I don't know if that means we're also going to have issues over here because this is very close to the edge of the map as well and I'm wondering if it's because it's close to the edge of the map so for this episode I'm not going to start that field I will do this one and this one and this one and this one we're going to start on those um and I'm going to do when actually I was wondering if we could start the big field today might be an idea but yeah so we had a little bit of fun yesterday jumping the car around and sort of trying that out and we're going to carry on with this. So we're going to get this one down over to one of the other fields and we're going to make a start down there. While we're doing that, my question for this week. Now I would like, just increasing the speed there, down the bottom corner. Um, I would like some suggestions this week. I'm not actually doing a poll. I would like suggestions this week for things that we can do when we get to the massive oversized 16 times broad acres map the australian one that i showcased in a video only the uh, uh, just the other day if you haven't had a look at it yet go and take a look at that video the map is just incredible it's amazing it really is <laughs> okay jumping combines that's a new that's a new rb that i've decided to start taking up um it's it's, it's quite serious it has all kinds of um followers all around the world um, most notably Frithgar, he's, he's quite keen on jumping combines, you may know him, and so it's, it's a new hobby that I've taken up. So let's just start this one up here, hopefully this is going to work. I did test this field here and it seemed alright while I have the others running. I've got uh, this one here, he's going, this one's going quite nicely, he's doing, doing an excellent job, so I see no reason why this one won't finish. This one's doing okay as well and continuing on around the fields the only thing that i do need to do is i just want to stop that one a moment and back it up a bit and change the setting on it so he does a 100 percent turn rather than a 50 percent turn there we go if i do that get rid of that one and then it can carry on again so yeah i'd like ideas of what we can do on the map i'd like ideas of small projects that we can start at the beginning that will run continuously throughout the series and, you know, kind of like we did with the, the Zeta track from the Cultivator on this one. So I want kind of, that's the kind of ideas that I'm looking for for the Australian map. So get into the comment section, let me know your ideas. And, of course, you can't actually vote this week. So, um, yeah, it's still your vote and your game, but um, it's a different type of vote. You've, you've got to use your powers of persuasion to persuade other people that your idea is the best and we will I yeah I'm not just going to take one I might take three or four ideas and put them all going I don't know yet however I am a little bit disappointed with this map that we're getting this crashing along the bottom and it's definitely not the changes I made to the mod it's actually the map itself crashing with the combines on there it worked all right with the sea drill but I'm wondering if that's because it was a little bit further away because we have that sort of huge distance between the actual drill working and the edge of the map. Um, I, I don't really know. So it's, there's something going on there that is a little bit hinky and is not quite right. So we, we'll worry about that another time. This is working all right. And I did test it before. It doesn't actually go straight into the river at any point. It just keeps going on around the field, which is, again, absolutely fantastic. Um, and as soon as we've done a little bit further, we'll let it get up the hill over the other side there and then we'll go and get another combine and we'll get that one going on another field as well over in field 23 because there's a bit of a, a loop around that one so I'm hoping that that one will be okay. I'm hoping that that'll be safe. We're going around this one here. We want to, we can get a combine going around that field and that one and we could go around this one as well. It's this one here that was causing the problems. We crashed there manually and we've crashed here. It's that corner in particular that was causing problems. 
but I'm I'm very now I'm I'm now cautious about along here all the way along the edges of these fields here I'm going to actually run a test before next week I'm going to test that I'm going to run a combine right the way around the edge I'm going to probably just get this one and manually drive it around I'll double check that it does actually crash it manually driving it around that corner and if it does brilliant because then I can use that as a crash test dummy to go all the way around the edge and see if it's going to work and if we can do all right then next week we will start sort of going in for the big field up there and we can yeah we just sort of carry on with it like that and it's going to be i think it's going to be great fun being able to do this big field i'm going to start i'd like to start with these combines i've, I've sort of grown attached to these little dominators and they seem to be doing a really good job as well the massive speed that they're doing they belt around the map it's, it's quite cool so um We'll also get our big uh, combines going as well. We'll get those going up and down in these fields. Uh, well, this field up here in particular. These small ones, I'm hoping we may better get most of it done with the Dominator. So hopefully it's only this area down here that we've got these issues with. And if that's the case, then we'll be able to combine all the rest of the map. Um, if that's not the case, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do at the moment. I will try. To, I will do my best to come up with some sort of solution that is going to solve the problem. And I will even go so far as to look into log files, although I'll have to find it. I don't actually know very much about log files and what I'm looking for in it, which is why I don't generally get involved with them. But this one seems to be doing just fine. So we're going to get another combine now, and we get this one started on the next piece. we just bring that one up round. I bought one too many headers here. So, yeah, it's definitely not just the modded combines that are doing it. It's also the standard combines. So just the, the standard in-game combine. I mean, it might be because I had these other mods on the map, but I seriously doubt it. Um, and one test I will run is I'll remove all the mods on the map and then test it again and see if that does it. But I don't know if it's... I honestly, I, I really do think that it is something to do with the map itself that is causing an issue down there. And it's not actually us or anything that we've done. At least that's what I'm, I'm counting on it being that. I really am. And... Where are we working? I think actually field 25 is a separate field, if I remember correctly. So let me just do that and bring the maximum speed up a little bit. And yes, field 25 is a separate field. So we can start on this one and we can take a look and see if that's actually going to work. Okay, it goes through the mud there, all right. And we don't want to go flying off into the gorge. So if I just drop it right there and unfold the combine and then set it going. It will detect the field and don't crash, please don't crash. Okay, it's done all right. I ha what I have been doing is I've been putting it detecting the field down the bottom end and then it, as soon as it starts moving, that's when it crashes. I don't know if that's something to do with it or not. Let me just stop that a moment. I did forget to do that again and increase that to 50%. It allows it to turn sharper, that's all. It's, all, it's the only difference it makes. It doesn't actually make a significant difference to anything else. So let's just remove that there back you round a bit get you going again there we go now this bit could be interesting because I think we went a little bit too close to the edge of where the train track is along here so it's sort of gone up the bank a tiny bit in places so it might yes it is going to be quite interesting for the combine it's getting through there it does get through there all right okay that's gotten through that without any problems at all actually, to be honest that was actually a little bit dull uh, I was hoping for more oh well we can't have everything can we so there's that one going and we so we got so going around that field we got we're going around that field and we got around these two fields here with smaller combines so now I'm thinking if we get the bigger combine that we put going down the bottom there last time and we'll take that one and we'll put it here into field 21 because the top end of field 21 if I remember correctly, that one had some really rough ground. And also running up alongside the track there, it was also quite rough. This one's doing just grand. So let's flick through our machinery really quickly till we find the combines. There we go. This one here. Now, it did okay up to that point, even though it crashed for me when I was manually combining around the field. So it might be because it's further away now when i went up to the other end of the field and i did it i actually moved the combine further uh, closer to the edge of the map to do that little bit so whether that's got something to do with it i don't know 
It's re it's really bugging me that it's it's going to seriously irritate me if we can do the whole map and we can't combine this field. That is really really going to irritate me like you wouldn't believe. I seriously that that's the sort of thing that would haunt me for days. It really would. That's that's what I'm like. It it really was. Um so I warning better of the combine harvester is empty. Yes, I quite agree. It probably would be but uh, we're just going to have to go with it like this. Oh. Actually that means that we can't unfold it now, doesn't it? Because it doesn't like being folded and unfolded. I think that's what the issue is but yes I can't unfold it because of the grain in it it's not going to let me unfold which means it's not going to let me harvest either oh dear does that mean I, ooh. how should we do this I, I mean I could tip the grain out on the floor I don't really want to tip the grain out on the floor so we need to get a trailer over here to this combine so that then we can make a start. If I take this, this combines are much, much slower than the other ones. I should or I'm going to speed these ones up. I think I'll um, go into the XML files ready for next week and speed these up because we're going to want these combines to go faster for this harvest generally. It's just for this little bit that um, we, we can we can cope with it going slow for this little bit. We're going to need a tractor and trailer next. That's going to be our next thing that we want. We're not going to use that lorry. We'll use this tractor. Actually, no, we'll use that trailer. So let me just unhitch that trailer and move forward a bit. Because that trailer has got a capacity of several million. Let me stop that tractor there. And this combine is doing grand. It's about to complete its first circuit of the field. So we can leave those going. This one's doing an excellent job as well. Round it goes. Yes, we've got a nice lot of straw on the ground here, so we'll be able to bale all of that up later. Excellent. I'm very pleased with all that. And I want a Rolnin tractor. I think we need a front... Actually, that's just perfect because... Um, oh, the trailer's around the corner. You know, I could have just walked over and gotten that. It would have actually been quicker. Go and get that. And right. If you could just move out the way, please. Thank you. And let's get that trailer on. This one's got an 8.5 million capacity. So this is the perfect trailer for the job. And if I go big like that, and then you press F11 to teleport. And there is the combine, so I want to go quite close to it over there. Right. Let's get that combine emptied out. We should then be able to unfold the combine again. It's only because the grain is in there, it folds it up. And then, obviously, it's not going to allow folding or unfolding while the grain is in there. And it doesn't like that. It worked okay with the lorry, didn't it? The truck, the truck. We're in, we're in the states, so it's got to be truck. Something for Broadacres. I want to know in Australia, do you call them trucks or do you call them lorries? Which one is it? I really need to know that. Oop, that was a bit too fast. Let's go into there and start you up. Now, is it going to let me tip this out? Hmm. Right, it doesn't seem to like that. Oh, I remember. I know, I know why. It's because I've got to, um, I've got to put the spout out. It's not going to work unless I put the spout out. And then it allowed me to unfold the spout afterwards once I tipped it all out. There we go. Right, so that does actually work. And we can load that into the trailer there. I do need to also increase the offload speed of this one. So if we do that, and then I can fold that one back... And if I press X, it should... There we go. Right, that's much better. Now it's unfolded. So if you teleport the combine while it's full, it won't allow you to unfold it afterwards. So it's just something to remember when you're playing around with this. So let's try starting this one up. Sh this should be all right. There shouldn't be any issues with that. i going to leave that one go. He's going to carry on sedately around the field. And we'll just move this tractor out here. I tell you what, we could actually go and unload one of those trailers. Uh, combines, rather. So let's just bring this one back in here. We are going to get lag spikes now because as the AI vehicle extension tries to figure out how it turns around a corner, it causes a little bit of lag. And because we've got several of them running at the same time, the lag is going to be a bit more serious because, you know, not serious, we're going to get more lag spikes. But it's definitely not that that was causing the crash. I know this for fact because when I was testing it, I didn't have the other combines running. They were literally, they were just parked up. They, they weren't running at all. I took a vanilla combine and I took it down to that bottom edge of the map and I started it up there using the AI vehicle extension. 
and it crashed. So it might be the AI vehicle extension, I don't know, because like I said, I didn't actually test it with just me personally doing it, but we do know for a fact that that crashed it previously, so I don't really know what to make of it yet. Now this combine has not got a great deal of grain in it, or not, is it going to unload? Oh yes it will. That's it. Because I've, I've also increased the offload speed, so I mean you look at the percentages on those combines, they're not very high. It's it's not done a great deal yet. So let's take this one. We can see if we can. It's it's really difficult to straight. Once he starts turning, he just keeps going in a circle until you actually stop the tractor. He he just keeps going in a circle. And he never straightens up. You 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 you've got to stop the machine before it will actually go straight again. And it's it's kind of bizarre the way that it does it. I don't quite know why. I'm I'm sure it's nothing to do with actual real. <laughs> Look at that car. Look how juddery it is. It's terrible. We might turn the traffic off. That would be another thing. I could try turning the traffic off before I do this again. Come up through. The, we'll go up through this way. And I'm going to go and see that big combine in a second. I'm just going to go up to the field. I'm not going to actually go right in the field. I just want to get towards where that combine is. And then we can hop into it and see how it's coping with the bottom edge. It's the bottom edge down there of the field that is going to be the difficult bit for this combine. Here. At the moment, it seems all right. It's gotten round the corners, and it's done everything as it should do, and it doesn't seem to be having any issues. It's quite slow, which you'd kind of expect, but it seems to be working. I'm quite impressed with this. It's it's a little bit further along that we've got this is the uh, the much rougher ground. That's gonna that's gonna test it a little bit more thoroughly than what's being tested at the moment. But at the moment, right now, it's working. And it's working well. We just want it faster, don't we? Why are they still getting dirty? I turned the dirt off. I get, I, I'm assuming that that is because that the dirt on the actual machines is on. And it's something different. It's, like, it's unrelated to turning the dirt on on this bit. You've got... Uh, yeah, see, I've got dirt turned off there. So I'm guessing that it's not that that factors in the dirt coming up on these mods. Right, now we're going into territory where we've got quite uneven ground. And you can see that the header itself doesn't reach all the way across. I mean, it was right above the crop over out on that side. But it's still going through. And because this one doesn't have collision on the outside, where that you got all these sections of reel on it. See all the different sections? The outside section of reel on both sides doesn't actually have any collision on it. And I'm assuming that is also going to make a significant difference to the combine riding up into the air. It is a little bit. It seems to be sliding a little bit around there. But this is it. it here we go. This is the kind of bit that it was going to struggle with. Where it's physically lifting it off the ground. Because you, you've got that kind of that valley shape. And the combine is going in the middle of the valley. Um, with the header on each side. Which is physically lifting the wheels of the combine up off the ground. And stopping it from being able to grip and move. But that bit there wasn't too drastic. And, I mean, there are some points further along, I think, um, further up o around the next field over there. I think there are some pieces on there that it will do it quite drastically, actually. That field there just below us is a little bit here next to the railway, the, the, rail, the railroad. Sorry, we're in the States. Railroad along there. And I believe that might have some of those um, like that type of valley type shape that could cause issues and the next time round it might also get a little bit stuck there but at the moment it seems to be doing alright it it's especially helps that the collision on this head oh now we've got a little bit now we've got a bit there it's, it's raising it up over on the left hand side over, the, over here and that's stopping it from being able to turn properly it is, it's getting there it's slowly getting there I'm quite impressed, actually. This is he's done better than I thought it would. I genuinely thought that it would struggle a lot more with being able to go through that. So it might be that we, if I was to just soup this one, I mean, it's going to be a lot faster if I could use these. And one of the reasons that I got the Dominator and sped that one up and put that one going is because I thought it would be easier to get round, certainly the outside few rounds on each of the fields. And then I thought, well, we take over with these. 
but I'm starting to think that we could do most of it with ease without any without too much trouble at all I'm not going to say without any trouble because there is going to be some issues here and there but generally speaking I think it's going to be all right this is going to be a bit of a test come round actually no it shouldn't be because it's, it's just sort of straight down and up so it's not actually having to go through any type of valley Getting around the inside corner there is going... I, I'm almost certain it's going to go for the fence because of the way the AI vehicle extension works. It cuts the inside corners. So it will almost definitely drive into that fence in just a moment. It's going to start... It's already starting to turn into the corner. And it's going to go too far in. It's going to reach the collision part of the header. There we go. Right, let me turn that one off a minute then. It's only that outside part that doesn't have collision on it. And if I bring that up there and then go for it. Right now, if I press H, he should just carry on. He's already got the field dimensions all measured out, so that's not going to hold it up at all. Bring that one on round. And it's going to do it again over there. I'm definitely going to speed these combines up for next episode so that we can use these a little bit more. I think it... I think it's actually going to be more interesting trying to see this one get round the big corners than using the small header and the small combine. Right, we're going to have to just help it around that bit as well, I think. Is it going to... No, it's not going to do it. It is going to get stuck on the fence, though. So let's bring that back round and start it up again and dip it in. I think we may as well just do this bit manually because it is going to go up there. It's going to try and get around that corner and then it's going to get stuck on the fence again. It might be able to get around that other corner, the one up there. But again, I'm not sure because of how tight it's got to turn. I reckon it's just going to get hung up on the top fence. So all of the AIs do have their limitations. There's various limitations on all of them and the way that they work. I mean, there's limitations on course play as well. Although I, I understand that course play is a pretty good and pretty rock solid program. It's just I personally, I don't really like it. I don't really like the feel of it and how it works. Um, it's difficult for me to explain. It's just it's just one of those things. You know when you get something and you're just like, well, I don't know why, but I just don't particularly like this. It's, it's not for me. It's, it's, I can understand why people like it. And I can appreciate that it is a well-written piece of software and it works very well um it's just not for me i, I just don't like it I, I, i've got no idea why I, I really don't i've just i've tried it a few times now and i just it just doesn't appeal to me it, it doesn't make me feel wow and it, it doesn't entertain me to to use it at all it's um yeah it's, it's just one of those things i guess but what I will do, I think, is I'm going to keep these three combines, the small combines, going on these um, these three smaller fields. Yeah, I do want that. We'll keep them going for the duration. We've got that one there, and we've got that field there. That one's not got much left. And then we've got this field here. I've got the big combine going on this field, and he's now hung up on that fence. No, he's not. Wow, miracles never cease. That is amazing. So we've got this big combine going here. And then I'm going to get another big combine going on this field down here. I might actually do that now. So we go and grab another one. Let me just go so that I've got two side by side and I can flick through them easily. So we grab you and... Right, it currently has grain in it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this down and we're going to empty this grain out down where that lorry is that we did last time. So I want to go here. I want to press F11 and then teleport down there and go over to this lorry truck truck i keep saying lorry again i got used to for a little while saying truck when i was on a u.s map and i've gone back into the habit of saying lorry i do apologize for the u.s listeners who are currently watching this and thinking well he's in the u.s he can at least try you know we you know we we try to use your strange english words when we're talking about things if if we're doing it in the in uk so you have a little bit of effort here yeah. just just try at least a little bit so i am trying i am going to try just fill that one up there i don't think i modded this trailer at all did i no i didn't i just kept that trailer as it was it was one of the first things we did was buy those trailers so that is now joined on there i can close that one back up again go and get that header back on and we can hopefully 
crash on there and get hopelessly stuck. Can I get through here? A big mud patch. There we go. Let's get that header and we can move down to the next big field. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to do that field without crashing as well. Miracles. We want miracles. That's what we want. So start praying, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what. Before we move, before we go and start a new field, let's just save the game just in case. Because we've made some progress now. We've actually made physical progress on the map. And we made progress with our harvest, most of which when we first started was completely lost. But I'm hoping this is going to be all right. I'm going to do it along the bottom edge. As I've only just saved, I think we'll, it's the safest place to start. And so we'll, we'll run it along this edge because that seems to be the danger zone down there. And we just go X and X. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. And there. Right, so this does seem to be the danger area along the bottom edge of this map, but I'm hoping that because we've got the um, the road between us and the edge of the map, that it is going to be a little bit safer for us. That's my plan. That's my hope. That's my prayer today. Please be safer for us. So let me just back right out to the fence like that and press H. Is it going to work? Is it going to read the field and work? I got a feeling that it might be... The a partly to do with the AI vehicle extension because it's trying to read the field but at the same time that first crash didn't have anything to do with it because I was driving it myself so maybe it's not anything yeah I really don't know so far so good I'm not going to count my chickens or anything but I reckon it's to do with how the edges of the maps are done you know we had all that issue when we were driving along the edge of the map with not owning the fields I think it's something to do with that. I, I'm certain that it that is related to how we're getting this crash. And there was someone did say there was a mod that you could get where you could go and like see all the fields that are unowned. So maybe we'd be able to do it like that. And then if I could buy all the fields, even the invisible ones, that might cure it. So I'm going to look for a mod like that and see if I can find anything. At the moment, this seems to be going okay. I mean, we've got the um, the non-collision part of these headers dipping into the ground, but that's that's fine as well. I can cope with that. And this one here has now completed... It's, it's done more than one round on the field. That's excellent. That is fantastic. So that one's going to keep going there. In next week's episodes, I will have tweaked this combine so that it goes faster than this. We want it to be able to harvest faster than 9 miles an hour. Um, and I will also have increased its capacity. So it will take a couple million litres at least. Probably go to about four million. And I'm going to see if I can find a cause for the issues down in the bottom of the map. Don't know yet if I'll be able to find anything. But I'm going to hopefully have these. I'm going to leave the small combines running on the other part of the map. Um, we'll leave that one there. That one going around that field. And that one around that field. But I'm not going to use the small ones anymore, I don't think. I'm thinking that when we start on this big field here, we're actually going to use the big combines. We've got... So we've got some small ones around those three. And we've got two big combines working here at the moment. That's going to be the next bit, is to see if it'll go all the way around the edge of the map. And if it does on the rest of it, we know it's just something to do with down here. So, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll run a few tests, and we'll see. And then next week, we'll have faster combines with higher capacities and we'll get them going on some of the rest of it we should finish up these two without too much trouble we can get two combines going here and then we'll get hopefully two combines running side by side going around this map and this is the one that i'm really looking forward to this is going this is the big one this is the, the big cheese i'm really looking forward to getting started on that and we will do that next week i promise um Remember, I want suggestions. We don't actually have a poll. We don't have a question this week. I want suggestions in the comment section down below about the small projects that we can run when we start Broad Acres, the 16 times Australian map. I want ideas of things that we can do on that map that um, are going to kind of continue for quite a long time, like we did with the Zeta and the Cultivator on this one, where it just kept going and going and going. I want some ideas like that that we can do. Um, I mean, maybe we'll just literally go with something like that again, get a small tractor and a cultivator working in a field, or a small tractor and a planter working in a field and sort of see how that goes. I don't really know, but the biggest field on the map, I'm kind of thinking that we're going to reserve for whatever we decide to come up with um, for our idea for something to do. So give me some suggestions. I want to read all about them down in the comment section. That is your weekly question this week. 
and I really look forward to reading all of your ideas. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.